Right now, the car company has 30 new and used vehicles for under $13,000, 20 for under $9,900, and 15 for less than $6,900. The car company is your home for guaranteed credit approval and the lowest price guarantee. So come see us today. The car company, great cars and great prices. Lake City TV, local, dependable, on demand. With all of the snow we have on the ground now melting and with the rain yesterday, there's a lot of standing water on the roadways. The Indiana State Police have released some safety tips in case you encounter high water. They say never drive around barricades at water crossings. Be especially careful at night or early morning because it can be difficult to see water and its depth. Reduce your speed in rain and never enter flowing water. If you do end up in water, immediately exit your vehicle through a window and climb on top of your car, call 911 from there and wait for help to arrive. Remember, it only takes six inches of water to reach the bottoms of most car doors and one foot of water to float most vehicles. A Milford man accused of selling oxycodone to undercover officers is facing drug charges. The Kosciuszko County Drug Task Force arrested 26-year-old Shane Smith on Thursday after officers reportedly made purchases of prescription medication from Smith while he lived in Syracuse. The Kosciuszko County Sheriff says tips from the public helped solve the case. Looking at your Storm Team 16 forecast, a mix of sun and clouds today and wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour, a high in the lower 30s. There's a slight chance of snow tomorrow, partly sunny, a high near 30 and upper 20s on Sunday. The federal government's first agriculture census in five years shows Indiana lost more than 2,200 farms between 2007 and 2012. Preliminary data released Thursday by the U.S. Department of Agriculture shows Indiana had more than 58,000 farms in 2012. That's a decline of nearly 4% from the 2007 census report. The new report says Indiana's average farm size grew to 251 acres in 2012, up from 242 acres in 2007. It also says Indiana had 14.7 million farm acres in 2012. That's a slight drop from 2007. The full report on the 2012 Agriculture Census will be released in May with detailed county-level data for the entire nation. The Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation is announcing plans for making up the remaining four instructional days lost this year due to inclement weather. Students will attend school on Friday, March 21st and Friday, May 30th. Two additional days will be made up by adding one hour of instructional time to the end of the normal school day starting Monday, March 3rd through Tuesday, March 18th. Any additional cancellation days will be made up the week of June 2nd. Questions pertaining to the Tippecanoe Valley Makeup Day schedule may be directed to the building principal of the school your child attends. From Lake City TV, I'm Terry Armstrong. Have a great afternoon and a fantastic weekend.